morning guys welcome back it's amanda hope you are having an awesome day today i thought i'd go ahead and share with you what i'm going to be doing for the month of february it's going to be another challenge of sorts kind of like a pantry challenge but not um it's going to be what i call a using it up challenge but there's going to be like a little kick to it and i'll, I'll get into it and show you just a minute so i hope you'll come along with me today and hope something in here encourages you and if you like this video give it a thumbs up after you watch it and anyway let's get into this and really i'm hoping that this will help you guys as much as it will me i am doing this to encourage myself and what this challenge is going to be it's going to be called i'm calling it um a cookbook challenge use it up cookbook challenge trying new recipe challenge i'm not even sure how i'm going to um label it yet but basically i want to get into some of my cookbooks that i have and i have quite a few and i'm going to challenge myself to come up with a new recipe every week using only the items that are in my house now these recipes have to be something i have never cooked before something that's going to be new um because we all get kind of you know tired of the same old stuff but how i'm going to get my inspiration is by pulling out let me show you over here pulling out my recipe books and i've got a stack of them actually i've got more than this should be told i don't need any more um recipe books i don't need them i've got so much and that's kind of like another challenge for me this year it's totally different is not to bring anything else into this house that i don't need is to use what i've got and that includes that's going to include using my um the what you can see here this is like my favorite cookbook um using my cookbooks and pulling stuff from them instead of going out and buying it because i'm really bad about looking at a title of a cookbook and like oh wow it's amazing it goes home and you know what it does it sits on the shelf gotta stop that so that's what this challenge is going to be about so let me go ahead and get into this show you what um i guess the points I will be using with this recipe challenge for the month of February because I seriously want to be using up like I was doing in the month of um, January using up everything I have but once you use up everything you kind of get bored with the same old stuff and that's where these recipe books are going to come in so let me get over here show you some of my recipe books and show you how I'm actually going to um, be going about this challenge so what I'm doing to start off this recipe cookbook challenge for the month of february is starting off with a month full of menus that just lets me know what i have in the house if there's a yellow dot you will see that i already have the items and at the end of the each week you will come and see this is the stuff that i will need to replace that i have used throughout this whole week like right here fried chicken taters um veggies whatever these are the ingredients and i will wait for a sale to come up to replace those items so i'm not paying full price but that's how I'm doing. But my goal is to have at least every single week for the month of February is a new recipe. Now, I'm going to be pulling these recipes out of a lot of different places. I'm going to be pulling them out mainly from my cookbooks because they're sadly unused and there's nothing worse than a book that has not been opened or read. And I have a lot of cookbooks. Um, so let me show you the ones I do have right now. This four ingredient cookbook, I got it probably three or four years ago at a book sale for about 50 cents. Guess what? I ain't you. I've not used it. The title caught my eye. Not used it. I really need to dig into this one. The, this one is my all-time favorite. As you can see, I've torn it completely apart. But the sad thing about it, again, even though I've had it from, look here, y'all, 2009, it has only... I keep going back to the same recipes and not branching out with new ones. Same thing with this one. I use this one a lot, but I use the exact same recipes. This one right here, I got a while, I, I don't know, it's several years ago. I actually went through it already and felt, looked at all the recipes and I put a tab, if there's like a little sticky tab in here, then it's a recipe that I want to try that I've already gone through to look at it. Um, like this one right here. I'm not going to do the sourdough bread. I already do that one. Um, let me think right here. Well, sourdough bread. I already do that. So I don't know why I marked that one. Um, here, right here. Biscuits and beef casserole. That looks good. I want to try that one. That's where these little tabs help out. If you're going to go through your cookbooks to, you know, kind of see which one you want to do. And then this one here is, if you saw my video on trying to find motivation, this is my fix it and forget it cookbook it deals with crock pot recipes 
and I want to, you know, kind of utilize my crock pot recipes a whole lot more. And besides that, I'm going to be still pulling from the pantry. I'm pulling from the pantry items that need to be used. Here's applesauce from 2019 I need to use. Again, my tomatoes from um, July of 2020. So through this whole entire process, my goal is, like I said, to find a recipe at least one day a week. That's my challenge. And it doesn't matter where this, if you want to do this challenge too, it doesn't matter where you pull it from. You can pull it from books you have. I want to pull it mainly from books because y'all, it's a waste to buy these books and to never use them. I am so bad about that. About that. That's why I said, I'm not buying any more cookbooks. I got to use what I've got. That's my whole goal for this whole year. If I haven't used it, it needs to be used before I go out and try to replace it with something I'll never use again. It's just making clutter in my house. But um, yeah, this is what I'm doing now for these recipes that you're going to be doing. Hey, if you want to do this challenge too, stop and think where you can pull recipes. Of course, you can pull them from online sources. You can pull them from magazines. You can pull them from books online, um, newspapers, which, you know, it's kind of like a thing of the past now and day. Maybe it's something that you put away a long time ago and you forgot about it. Just go into your cabinets. If you have cookbooks, wherever you keep them, wherever you keep your recipes, y'all, and try to find something you have not ever done before, a brand new recipe, so you can share it with your household. And it'll kind of like brighten up the same old same, especially when it comes to winter and you get stuck in a rut doing the same old thing, being stuck in the house, that type thing. So anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So I hope you guys will get out there, get your cookbooks, join this challenge with me, and let's see what we can do um, coming up with new recipes for our families, using what we have in the house already, um, using up our oldest items first, which that's bad. That's 2019. I should have already used that. Um, all those type of things. And anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you guys have an amazing day. God bless.